you can see here that my balance okay so it's correct dishes that I have to do when what the f so this is pretty good relation and you can turn so far out of all of and Welcome to the next vlog on building $1 million educational technology startup. So I started this vlog series back in May. I think it was either beginning May or ending April. I'm not too sure. And my objective was to document my journey towards building uh, this startup or this business or whatever you are going to call it to so building this stuff. And I was a little bit consistent. I was posting like twice, twice a week, sometimes just once a week. And then um, on July 4th, I had a brilliant idea to stop posting my vlogs and I was trying to focus on something else. So long story short, uh, it has been a month. I haven't posted a vlog episode, but we are back and I'm back to posting regularly for this vlog. So if anybody was following this vlog, thank you for following this vlog and we're back with the vlogs. So from the last time I posted a vlog till today, there's been a lot of changes, uh, personal life changes. Uh, changes in the business and so many things. So I'll just try to just make a quick resume. And the, one of the major change is that I got into a new apartment. So I left my one bedroom house. I'm currently in a two bedroom house and I put the second bedroom as an office. So here is my cool little office where I have my desk and have my setup and my camera stuff for filming videos and stuff like that. And also when it comes to the business and the platform that I was building, so, so far I've finished building the platform. I've not really finished building the platform, but I've built the platform to a level where I don't really need to focus too much on building the platform. Right now, what I'm trying to do is just work on some minor updates and mainly to try to make the training program better and also focus a lot on marketing. I've been trying to learn how to run ads, how to run Facebook ads, Google ads, but finally I've settled down on trying to run uh, Facebook ads instead of Google ads. I want to focus more on Facebook ads. Talking even about running Facebook ads, I have an ad account which was blocked and this really set me back a whole lot because this ad account is something that I was using since 2022. So Facebook already studied uh, my target market with this ad account and I was running a couple of ads every single day or not every single day but regularly with this account and and it has been disabled since because I was trying to use a credit card which uh, wasn't going through and surprisingly enough when you try to use a credit card which doesn't go through on Facebook ads it gets blocked and you try to contact support you try to uh, appeal but nothing is working you can see here you can see here that my balance was paid but my account is disabled and I've contacted support a couple of times I think like over 20 times but nothing has happened so if anybody has any tips or any suggestions on how I can get my ad account unblocked it would be very helpful but so far I created a new ad account I still have very hard limits for example I can't spend over $50 a day um, yeah there's just so many limits and also seems like Facebook hasn't studied my audience yet with this new ad account because my cost per click is quite high and I really don't target the same kind of people I was targeting in my other account. So ads have become really effect, really ineffective with me with this new account. I'm trying to build a new history with the new account and also trying to uh, study how I can run ads better. If I could get my previous ad account back, it would be very, very good. Anyways, let me know in the comment section if you have any tricks. And yeah. Okay, so it's currently 11.30 a.m. I actually woke up at 10 a.m because because of a lot of reasons so right now i'm just going to clean up a little bit do the dishes real quick and i'll get back to work so let's get it Okay, your boy looks good, hair looks good, everything looks good. Time to start my day. So, one thing I really like about having my own apartment is that I basically have my own space, my own kitchen, room, office, a small little parlor, and everything. Because 
where I was first living, I was living with like roommates in a house and I was renting a small bedroom. So I was always feeling very comfortable getting to the kitchen because you get into the kitchen, you see other people's stuff, then you have to like start cleaning people's stuff before coming to clean yours and cook and all that kind of stuff. But with mine, I can do everything. So I have quite some dirty dishes that I have to do right now. Yep, so I have to do the dishes right now. So I'll do it right now, then get to the next thing. Your boy is doing the dishes right now. One of the very first things I'll do when I'm gonna be able to is to get a chef. Because I can't be spending hours cooking, spending hours doing the dishes. And who does that? Anyways, for now, we have to do everything. We have to cook, we have to do the dishes. Though I don't cook every single time, but we still have to cook the, do the dishes. So, okay, so here's what we have before, and boom! And the screen, and yeah. Okay, so I just realized today that my AirPods were bad, so my earphones. So right now I'm just gonna go get new ones. So, yep. How are you doing? Okay, I can't decide whether I should take the AirPods or I should take the Samsung earbuds. So we have the AirPods and the Samsung Buds. It's around the same price, but I can't decide because I have one iPhone and one Samsung phone. Um, but I use the Samsung phone more than the iPhone. So I'm going to take the AirPods instead, instead of taking the the AirPods, earbuds, AirPods. AirPods is for Samsung. AirPods is for Apple, so I think I'm gonna take the AirPods instead. So we have this one. This is the AirPods. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this one instead. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably go with the less expensive because I really don't want something too much. I'm not really an earphone guy, but I really need earphones right now because yeah. What the fuck is this? What kind of laptop is this? I've never seen this kind in my life. Okay, so I finally got the AirBuds. So I finally got the AirBuds instead of getting the AirPods. Because um, I have this my old Samsung phone, it's a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So I think I'm using my Samsung phone to, more than my iPhone. So, yep. Okay, so I don't even know if I'm wearing this thing the right way. But one thing I must say is that compared to AirPods, this one really feels more sturdy. Like it really feels like, um, it really feels stronger in the ears. Like I feel like even if I shake my head like this or if I run up and down, this is not going to fall off. So this is pretty good I think. So far I like this more than my AirPods that got missing. Yep. But the other thing I have to say is that it's literally blocking my ears. Like I feel like if somebody calls me, even when I don't have any music playing inside my ears, I'm still not going to hear like it literally blocks all the sound it's weird anyways i just discovered something very very interesting so i actually told you a few minutes ago that i wasn't hearing anything else that was coming out like i wasn't hearing any ambient sound and it was because i had active noise cancellation on i just realized that you can turn it off you can turn off the noise cancellation and you can turn it back on i didn't actually <laughs> I didn't actually know that. I thought that the earphones was automatically suppressing all the noise, whereas it's actually a feature. I'm surprised. And it's the same price with the AirPods, whereas the AirPods is... And the AirPods doesn't have any noise cancellation. Well, I'm pretty happy of my purchase. So right now, I'm going to talk more about the updates. Uh, I have a couple of updates that I have to do. Okay, so this week is going to be the hiring week in the Programmers University. Um, let me turn on the slide. What? It's not coming on. How about this? Okay. So this week is going to be like a hiring week in the program at university. Uh, I have to hire a couple of developers. I'll hire a few React.js developers. 
um, also a virtual assistant and a couple of mm, what else a virtual assistant and uh, the other role I want to hire is something like a customer success somebody in charge of customer success because basically uh, I'm trying to expand the program because right now I'm the only person teaching the lessons the only person giving the lessons so I want to focus more on the business side of things and hire more people that can help um, follow up our students and make sure our students are actually making progress and always people who are there to provide help so I have a couple of emails to review here um, I don't know if you can see it I have over 20 applications for the ReactJS roles and and right now I only hire from three countries Cameroon, Ghana and Nigeria and the reason I'm hiring from this country is because my business mainly operates in these countries if I don't know if you saw my first vlog but the whole purpose of me doing this is to mainly impact Africa on, in my own way um, I have a couple of people wanted to I've gotten advice from many people to try to break into the American market or the Canadian market because people have more money here and I mean people are more prone to register for the program and all that but the reason I'm trying to focus on Africa is because I know this goal is a little bit grand but I'm trying to revolutionize the educational space in Africa so even though it gives less money it's not as lucrative as the other markets I'm really trying to get into it in order to bring some change you know in the shape or form and my dream has always been to uh, try to solve the problem of un unemployment in my own way and the best way to do this is by offering a service that can help people and in turn also hire people to help me offer this service so i'm going to be going through all these emails checking out everybody's resume everyone who sent me a resume i'll be checking them out emailing them and scheduling interviews so let me go through it and get right back to you okay so i've gone through all of the applications there were like 20 applications and i've seen like four really interesting applications so i'll email them and try to schedule an interview for either tomorrow or anytime next week i'm hoping to hire at least two out of the four but if no one is really good i'll just try to like put up another job listing so four out of all of the other applications that is like 20. so right now i've just changed what i was wearing i'm gonna head over to the gym right now and then come back send over the emails and record the lessons and that's gonna be it for today let's go <laughs> Head into the gym and to go do some workouts. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is all about this vlog. What's left for me today is just to record lessons and send them over to my editor and continue later on. So, catch you in the next one.